Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to another buzzing walkabout here on Buzzing Pattaya. And uh, today I thought, well, let's do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to walk down Soy 6. Now, before you say to yourself, oh God, it's another walk down the Soy 6. It's been done a billion times, which it has. Uh, what I thought I'd do is I want to show you there's quite a few places for sale and for rent. But more importantly, I thought, well, let's take a trip down memory lane. Because for most of you guys, obviously, you're still waiting to get out here. Uh, a lot has changed over the last 18 months during what we've been uh, going through. And I thought, well, let's, instead of just saying, oh, look at it, it's empty, it's empty. I thought, well, let's actually have a look. And, you know, I'll, I'll share some uh, stories of places I've been to. And what I'd love you guys to do is to also do the same. You know, drop a comment below. What's been your favorite part about Soy 6? What's been your worst part? Uh, things that you've enjoyed, things you haven't enjoyed, things maybe you would change. You know, just have your share. That's the beauty of the community that we've got here. But guys, all I will say is please, whatever you do right, remember this is YouTube, so don't drop me in it, okay? Uh, but let's have a walk down. I'm gonna show you all the bars. We'll go bit by bit. They're all closed, we know that. But nevertheless, there's a lot of memories here. There's been millions and millions of memories created here. So let's go take a look. Now, one of the first things to note back in the day, you see up here, look, it was 40.22. That's how long ago this place opened its doors, 40.22. And what a good business acumen. Let's put this right on the very corner of Soy 6. I mean, talk about, get off your motorbike. I need some cash. I'm gonna go and have a bit of fun. Oh, look how lucky there we are. There's an exchange booth. All right, so, now when I first used to come to Soy 6, this area here that you're looking at was originally the corner bar. Now, I don't know what it was before that, that was before my time, but when I first came here, this was the corner bar, and it was a great place. You'd sit down, there'd be lots of expats here. Uh, some of the guys here, you know, have been coming here day after day after day for years, and uh, it really was a great point to start, uh, you know, start your trip down the six. And if you can imagine back in the day, you know, you'd sit there and look down that soil, and it would just be rammed full of girls. It was just like, we're about to go down there and this is just going to be a magical day. And, it, and you know, and it's, it's brought some fantastic memories. But there was a dispute. Now, don't hold me to this because I'm not privy to that information. It was sensitive. But I do understand or I believe, based on what I've been told, there was a dispute amongst the rent, etc., etc. Things didn't quite work out. Uh, so it came to a halt. Now, instead of losing it completely, it looks straight across the road there. And there is its new home, the corner bar there. And... Um, this is this is where they located to so literally a stone's throw the opposite side of the road that is the corner bar there and uh, that's that's its new location now as we walk down you will see there are some places for rent some places to sell uh, which is a shame because obviously there's been some incredible memories here uh, good fellas now a lot of these places are, are still the old style like the old behind the closed doors and there was a lot of talk about what was going on regarding this situation because over time as we go down, a lot of these bars turn into open fronted bars. Now, some people were happy with that, some people disagreed. Uh, I understand the logic, so we'll talk about that when we get down there, but that was what happened. Now, one of my favorite behind the closed doors here was a Saigon Girl Bar. Now, this place was like a rock bar. Uh, I used to go in there, there'd be seating down on the right hand side, the bar was on the left hand side, and uh, it really was a fun place to go in. Now, you've got Mods Bar here, now that's uh, an open face bar. Uh, but one of my other favorite places here is just on the right hand side called Obar. And uh, Obar used to be great fun. You go in there, again, another closed uh, door premises. And uh, basically you'd go in there, the girls would be really welcoming. There's lots of sofa areas, etc., etc. And uh, you know, once that door was shut, that was it. You were left on your own devices. Uh, but there's since now become a lot more open bars. And, Listen, I'm not gonna get into the nuts and bolts as to whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. All I can tell you is that the reason that a lot of these bars became open bars was because they couldn't get enough customers through the door. People were coming through the closed doors, looking in, seeing it was busy and saying, okay, I'll move on and go somewhere else. So logistically, from a business aspect, it made perfect sense. Uh, the old 7-Eleven uh, here, no idea about 7-Eleven. And you've got this place in, now this is another famous place, My Friend U Bar. Who remembers My Friend U Bar? Who's been in there before? And that was always a good fun bar. And uh, lots, of, lots of girls, lots of fun. And also opposite, if you look opposite here, well, you've got a pawn shop. So if you've run out of cash, uh, maybe you've got yourself a gold watch or a gold bracelet or whatever, well, nip in there and the uh, job's a good one. 
they'll give you some cash and carry on your, your, uh, your evenings or your afternoons activities. So talk about forward thinking and planning and preparation. So there you go, that was that. Okay, so we're gonna head a bit further down. And the nice thing about Soy 6 is, if you're ever hungry, lots of these food stores and coffee stores, places like this, they would constantly be up and down the soy. And in regards to the traffic, ah, oh, it used to be terrible. Uh, but it's changed a little bit, you know, like hair salons, I guess that's attracting more to, towards the girls than it is to someone like me. Uh, Smoke and Mirrors, another well-known name here. Uh, again, you know, guys, if you've been to any of these places, please, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know within reason. Let's keep it within reason. Let me know what were your thoughts about uh, the activities. You know, and do you think an open bar concept is, is, is uh, a good idea? Or would you have preferred it to stay as a closed bar concept? You know, what are your thoughts? And let's not start attacking people. Let's keep it as a generalistic chat. You know, yeah, I think it's a good idea. No, I think it's a bad idea. Let's not start nailing at, at uh, certain particular bars because I think that's unfair. You know, what they've done is their choice. It didn't mean the whole story had to follow suit. It just meant that was what they did. Uh, Exotica, sexy in the city. Uh, I've done a lot of photos for these bars. And uh, moving forwards, if you're not on our Discord group, jump on there because I will come down once things reopen and I will do up-to-date uh, galleries for you so you can go on Discord and see which girls are working in which bars right here, right now. Now, a famous place that doesn't need any introduction is the Queen Victoria. Now, I've had the Sunday lunch in there. Gotta say, food was very, very good. Uh, they've got accommodation as well just up there. I'm not sure this would be the kind of place me personally would like to stay simply because it's noisy. But if you want to be in the heart of the action, well then you couldn't ask for a better place than uh, the Queen Victoria. So moving in a bit further down, you've got the Roxy Bar, the Tomcats Bar, Foxy Bar, Playgirls, Poison. I mean, all of these names, you know, I'm sure for many of you, I'm okay, thank you boss. Uh, I'm sure for many of you, these names that I'm rattling out here, you think, oh yeah, I used to go there, and oh, I used to go to this place. You know, share away, what was it like? You know, just to give you an update here, let's have a look. So today's special is a beef burger, chips and coleslaw, 119 baht, if that's your thing. And uh, they're looking for their, their Christmas menu here. 695 baht, starters, main course, and the dessert. And uh, to be fair, that looks really, really nice. But as I say, you know, if you're looking for somewhere to stay in the heart of the action, absolutely spot on. If you're looking for somewhere that's a bit noisy, uh, spot on. If you want a bit of peace and quiet, perhaps you want to think of other options just in case. This lady's taking all her selfies here. See? Mobile Legends Bang Bang. Mm, interesting. Should I go and should I go and photo bomb her photo? <laughs> Hello. Can I take for you? Of course I can. What would you like me to do? You want me to take your picture? Oh, of course, no problem at all. All right. See, look, I'm going to take this lady's picture. Okay. Are you ready? Four, four, no. Yeah, I can do full, yeah, no problem. Ready, one, oh, let's wait that car come, hang on. We'll let the car come. See the things I get myself into? Okay, you ready? One, two, three, two, nung, sung, ow. Okay, ow, you man gun. Sam, song, nung. There we go, all right, okay. Moving late, you need to go. Oh, you're welcome, very welcome. There you go, see, happy days. All right, boss, you're welcome. It's okay, good. Very good. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, lucky me. Yeah, you're welcome, boss. No problem whatsoever. Okay, so we're keeping on moving down. Now, this is one of my favorite places here, the Spider Bar. Uh, I can't rave about this enough. I used to love this place. Two pool tables, uh, lots of bar stalls and bar chairs, etc. The girls were great fun, would always play you at pool. And I'll tell you what, some of them were decent, to be honest. Gabby, you'd be in a world of trouble if you uh, tried your hand in there, mate. They would, they would nail you. So yeah, the Spider Bar. Uh, a few more well-known names now, so the Ruby Club. I mean, I know for a fact, if you guys have been around, uh, you'll definitely know the Ruby Club. And it looks like here, well not looks like, it is sadly Lisa Bar. Lisa Bar is up for sale, which is a real shame. Um, Route 69, now I've got to be honest with you, maybe I've walked around with my eyes shut for a while. I don't actually remember that place, I don't know. Have you guys been there? I'm not sure on that one. Not sure. Uh, Lust on the Soy 6. You gotta love these names, didn't you? They're brilliant, some of these. Where Angels Play, Kawaii Bar, The Butterfly Bar. I bumped into a girl the other day, and uh, she said to a friend who was with, well, oh, you're a butterfly. And he said to her, well, what are you doing then? Because you're going customer to customer. She went, I work. 
Great logic, isn't it? You're a butterfly, I work. Uh, but there are places here for sale. Okay, you can see this one here, this is for sale. Looks like quite a big unit. And I don't know, you know, would you invest in Soy 6 with all the speculation about what's going on? You know, there's so many rumors here, it's just incredible to try and understand and sift through what's real and what's not real, you know? But uh, the chill bar, chili bar, sorry, chili bar, where angels play, Liquid, I've done a lot of photos for Liquid, that was a great place. And the girls in there, very fr very friendly. But you gotta look at these names and it's brilliant, isn't it? just, just look at that there. We love Soy 6, Lollipop, Horny Bar, The Pussy Club, Nature Bar, Baby Cool Bar. I mean, some of these names are awesome. Uh, another building here for rent. So uh, if you are considering dipping your toe in the ocean, or maybe you want to expand. And uh, this one here is a double unit. There's a big double unit here, two unit building for rent. And uh, you can see they've already ripped it apart. You know, it's such a shame when you see this. It doesn't matter whether you like Soy 6 or you hate Soy 6. When you see things like this, you know, that is ultimately somebody's livelihood potentially gone down the pan, as well as the girls lost their jobs, etc. And it really isn't good, you know. Irrespective of what you think about this soy, the fact remains, you know, nobody wants to see anybody lose their hard-earned uh, money that they've invested in these places. But like I say, you know, be very careful if you, once, once things do resume, you know, coming in here, you know, the cars, motorbikes, the trucks in Songkran. Ah, oh, this is a great place to play uh, Songkran, if you like Songkran. Now, you've got two more bars here, big bars here. You've got Nature Bar and also the Jungle Bar. And uh, I was meant to meet Brian today, but Brian's busy, so I'll catch up with Brian in the week. He's, uh, I think he's down in Warhin, I think, at the moment. So you've got the Wicked Bar. How are you doing, buddy? All right. Uh, smoke and Kisses, Repent, Play Pen. They've even inserted now a pizza place in the middle of Soy 6, Salice. And another place here next door for sale. Uh, what's that? Really? That's, that's my eyes on No, 18 bedrooms. That's got to be a double unit then. 18 bedrooms, wow. Truthfully, I couldn't imagine this building having 18 bedrooms when you look at it. Two, four, six. Same on the other side, 12, maybe. 18 bedrooms, cool. Uh, so we got Playpen Sweet Bar. That looks like quite new. I don't know, I don't recognize that name. And of course, you got where Brian started his journey here, the Nightwish Bar. Uh, you know, he's got the Nightwish Group. And you know, whether you like him or not, it's irrelevant. The fact is that, you know, they've, they've invested a lot of uh, effort into this soy. And uh, I think, off the top of my head, I think he's got 24, 24, I think. I'm not 100% sure. And of course, you have got the Toy Box. Uh, Tony in the Toy Box, really nice guy likes his motorbike, and uh, the girls there are fun and friendly. It looks like they're doing a bit of painting in it at the moment, redecorating, yeah. Uh, what's the pink bar? I don't know what that pink bar's called, actually. Uh, Red Point Bar, sorry, Red Point, yeah. Oh yeah, the old Red Point Bar. Now I know that place. That's where, see, I came down here once, and the Mama Sam was outside, and she, she took some food out of her mouth and threw it at me, because I had my camera in my hand. <laughs> Uh, the Sandcastle Bar and Lounge. Not a place I'm very familiar with. Uh, the Soy 16. Now here's a legitimate coffee shop. And uh, if you want to come down and have a coffee, get yourself in the Soy 6. I don't know what the prices are like. Let's have a look. And it's right next door to Cooter's Bar. Now if you're not sure about Cooter's Bar, Cooter's Bar used to be called Scooter's Bar. Let's have a look here. There's the prices there. Espresso, 40 baht hot, 45 with ice. Good menu there, good menu. Now, Chris is the owner of uh, Kuda's Bar. He's also got Wet Six and La La Land. Really, really nice guy. And uh, when they did the ploy on the name here, changing from Scooters to Kuda's, uh, he informed me that Kuta is a word for that kind of part of uh, anatomy that is a reference to uh, another country. If you get what, if you, if you could decipher what I just said then, fair play to you, because I just think about it, I think, what the crap that was. Basically, it's a female po body part description in another country. <laughs> I do get myself tongue-tied. Uh, Wet Six, which is, I say, is part of Chris, is the girls, I do the photography for these, like, they're brilliant. Really, really nice guys, really good girls. Really nice guys? That's Soy Six One. Really nice girls. And uh, so I, I'll keep the camera this way, don't worry. How are you anyway? You okay? Hey, long time no see. How you doing, Monsieur? We've got Utopia, 
uh, seduction, passion. I'm sure all these names are screaming at you. Envy Bar, Avaris, Vlath Bar, La La Land further down. And uh, as I say, you know, here's another place that's up for sale and rent. And this used to be the Love 66 Agogo. So uh, I'm not quite sure why that hasn't worked out. We got a Dolls Agogo a bit further down, and that is a great place. I've spent many, I, I used to do all their videos and photos for them, and uh, that was fantastic. Really, really great place, highly recommended. Uh, Kalea Bar 66 Bar. Now, I wonder, that must be part of that, I guess. That's, uh, I don't know, got the old uh, dancing music going on. Uh, Avarice, Wrath, La La Land. Now, remember I said to you about La La Land is part with Chris. Uh, again, it's a long open bar, and uh, the girls are great fun. And opposite, opposite is MJ's Kitty Girl Bar. Uh, draft beer there, look, all night. That's not too bad. And uh, if you want to get yourself a bottle and get yourself comfortable, Oh, well, there you are. Blend Sang Sam Hong Tong. Well, that's not a bad price, is it, to be fair? And of course, you got Dolls. Now, Dolls went really, really crazy because this was where they first opened up and then they ended up over in LK Metro and also in Walking Street. Now, I don't know whether those other two venues will reopen. Um, I'm not sure what will happen here, to be totally truthful with you, but this is a big unit. Uh, as you go in there on the left hand side was a, sta a podium stage and straight in front of you as you're looking at the video now there was a, another a long stage but it was a step up stage with like different levels of platforms and it was a really really good place and I've got to be honest with you the girls were just great fun really really great fun so uh, if you haven't been to Dole's uh, jump in there when things do resume I don't know about the one in LK Metro and I don't know the one about Walking Street so I can't really tell you on that one I'm not sure I'm really, really not sure. But uh, yeah, they've gone from this place to having three now, three. Uh, Maggie Chews, another well-known name. Uh, you got the, oh, that looks a bit dodgy, isn't it? Well, not dodgy, but Om One Stop Coffee. And, uh, oh, okay, right. So here you go. If you're into this kind of stuff, the menu, Lady Gan. So from one o'clock until five o'clock, 89 bar. Lady Gang Cafe, Lady Gang Soda, Lady Gang Honey. But there's an interesting plant on the front there, look at that. This has become all the rage at the moment. And I've got to be honest with you, truthfully, it's something I don't absolutely know anything about. It's something I've never been involved in. And uh, right next door, just in case it goes pear-shaped, there you go, get yourself a pharmacy, just in case you need a bit of help. <laughs> and uh, Maggie Chews, Maggie Chews was a good bar, and the Halifax. The Halifax was, uh, was a very interesting bar because once you went in, it was literally almost pitch black. And uh, trust me, you'd come out there with your eyes watering. Uh, bar Kuni, that's for rent. And I don't know what the rent are for places like this. Not really sure. Uh, Mama's Cafe, now you see this place here, there's gentlemen in there having their food, so I'm not gonna stick the camera in there, but if I step back a little bit. Um, that's Mama's Cafe, really nice owner. And uh, great food in there, great, great food. All right, so we're gonna head down the beach. I'll just show you the beach quickly and then we'll look at Soy 61. And what I'm gonna to say to you about Soy 61 is, guys, I know the temptations, you know, it's really difficult, but don't throw your mates up there if they're gonna have a little bit of an adverse effect when they see that uh, it's a, a lady boy. Uh, incidentally, over there, there's a, a tattoo shop. Now that's not, uh, not, that new, uh, not that old, sorry. And we're right on the corner now. So we'll have a little look. I'll walk over, show you the beach. It's a beautiful day today, look up there, not a cloud in the sky. Absolutely beautiful, really, really nice. So I'll just have a wander across the road, show you the beach, and then we'll wrap the video up. But regarding Soy 61, okay, so if you're not sure about Soy 61, basically that is a ladyboy soy. And yes, temptation will get the better of you to say to your mates, I'll oh, nip up there, there's a few great bars up there and you send your mate up there and off he goes, not knowing what to expect. You're giggling your head off. Well, unfortunately, the lady boys may not see it as humorously as you do. So be very, very careful, guys, especially if your mate's a little bit, um, not naive, I don't want to say naive, if he's, if he's a little bit animated and, you know, get away from me and all the rest of it, because it could end up in a bit, of a bit of a situation. We don't want that. But here you go, just taking this for a second. Hopefully you can hear me, it's a bit windy. And look at this, beautiful, absolutely lovely, look at that, and the old haze on the sun there, 
You can't even make out the Patea sign in the far distance. It's that, it's that hazy. And uh, the ties there, look, sitting down eating their food, bless them. They love all that. Fair play. Okay. Come on, admit it. You want to be here, don't you? <laughs> Truth of the matter is, we really need you here. That's the thing. So, uh, all right, so looking back, there you go. That is Soy 6-1. And like I say, guys, you know, yes, it's been walked to death a thousand times. And hopefully just by spending a bit more time and talking about a bit more about what goes on and the bars, etc., And with you guys sharing the, the comments and all that kind of stuff, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can make this a bit more of an interesting trip down Soy 6 rather than just a, a glancing walk through. And uh, not too far up there. It's within a walking distance. You've got obviously Soy 7 and Soy 8. And uh, if you go up to uh, Soy 7, up to the very top there, you've got A7 bar with Nick Dean. Also got the Hacienda bar. But here, there's the entrance, see the Cafe Amazon? Now that is the entrance to Soy 6-1, and like I say guys, though, please don't just mug your mate off and throw him up and say, yeah, go on son, fill your boots, because uh, it may come a bit unstuck. I'll tell you what we'll do. Oh man, if I get if I get attacked, we'll have a little wander up. Let's quickly get across here. If I get myself in trouble here, I tell you, I'm never gonna forgive you lot. Let's have a look. I hope there's no one out. It's a bit early. It's only two o'clock in the afternoon. Hopefully they'll still be all asleep. But don't walk up here if you can't adjust to the uh, clientele. Not the clientele, you're the client, aren't you? To the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, you know, the birds that are out here tap for business. What's that make them? Oh, they're not prospecting. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's change the subject. Yellow massage there. Eh? A yellow massage. And here's the prices. So you get a Thai massage. One hour, 200 baht. How good is that? Foot massage, foot and head, head and shoulder, oil massage, 300 bar. Hello. Hello. Would you like a I would love a massage, but I've got to go and walk up here. Okay. If I make it to the top, maybe I'll come back and have a massage. Now, there's going to be a few up here, and there's got to be. Oh, good Lord. And here, look, here's that Arm Cafe again. There was a C. All righty, cool. Oh, no. <laughs> right, let, if I get beaten up, honestly, so hopefully they'll take cover now because she's going to see the camera and what they'll tend to do is turn their back on you and uh, they'll just ignore you so what i'll do is i'll go up here i'll do a left turn and then uh, i'll head back up soy 61 we'll finish off at the top but they of an evening you will get a lot of uh, lady boys here a lot and uh, what they'll do is all these bars you see here on the left hand side the, the back entrances should I have said that where the soy I'm walking up? Oh God, I just put myself into it, didn't I? Um, but anyway, all, <laughs> all these, all these um, back door, no, I don't want to say back door. Oh God, digging a hole there, aren't I? Anyway, this side of the street, a lot of uh, the girls that will come out will all be lady boys, so just be prepared. I'm not going to make any more references to back doors or anything like that. <laughs> but it's empty, which is great, which is great. So uh, happy days, happy days. Okay, so I'll tell you what, because it's empty and because there's no, uh, no sun in my face, let me wrap up here, I think that'd be appropriate. And uh, I can live to tell the tale, put my camera away, just in case any one of those ninja boys comes out and starts giving me a few hooflung dungs. It uh, you know, reminds me of New York City, that does. You know when you see the, um, see the films with the old police chasing the, uh, the, the uh, criminals around, that, uh, I've only got the beatbox going on. Right, let's keep walking up here. And uh, we're uh, doing the old washing. Sawadee kab, kab. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so we're, we're going to head up. I'm going to get uh, just up here on the left. See, this is what I'm on about. Back in the day, that's the bar on the other side. So it's just closed. But they would come out from here. And the costume. Let's have a little pop over shall we? Oh, look at that. Such a shame. Such a shame. Okay. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Right, I'm going to cut through. Incidentally, when you do come down Soy 6, there's lots of these little cut throughs. And uh, you can pretty much zigzag your way around. So you can always uh, pop across this side, have a look. If you don't see what you want, nip back to this side and carry on as if nothing happened. Okay, 
you know, I can't wait for the day. I really can't. I can't wait for the day when you walk down this soy and all of these places are open, the music's blaring, there's lots of you guys out here having a great time, the girls are shouting and screaming and laughing and joking. You know, to walk up here now, I can hear my own voice echoing. And that's, yeah, it just, just doesn't happen. And it's been so long, you know, it's been so long. And I'm hopeful that uh, in the not too distant future, things will change. You know, we've had the uh, relaxation recently where restaurants can sell alcohol. And uh, hopefully they'll extend that now to some of the bars and the go-go bars. And, you know, fingers crossed we can get ourselves back on track. And look at this, there's a funky car here, look at this. Ah, oh, look at that, what a smart car that is. Check that out. Nice. Nice. Here's a question for you. So here you go, there's, here's the old Ford Escort. Question, before we finish off. What was your very first car you ever had? I had a Ford Cortina Mark V, was my first ever car. So what was your first car you ever owned? Drop it in the comment below, guys. What was your very first car you ever owned? I mean, nowadays, the cars aren't the same, are they? You know, back in the day, it used to be great. I used to have a beatbox on the back seat, uh, the old battery-operated one, because I couldn't afford a, 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 a cassette player. Yes, we used to have cassette players back in the day. <laughs> Just shows how old I am. Nowadays, it's all... Uh, YouTube streaming and music from all that kind of stuff. But yeah, we used to have a, a beatbox put on my back seat and that used to uh, be a cassette. And then we upgraded, we went to CDs. Could you imagine it, CDs? Phenomenal, CD player. Uh, all right, so let's spin it around. Oh. All right guys, so there we go. So hopefully you've enjoyed that, uh, something different. Just a little bit more of a detailed look about the soy rather than just a, a quick up and down glance. And uh, as I say, please share, you know, share your experiences. Remember where we are, so please don't uh, drop me in it with uh, silly, question, uh, silly comments. But uh, hopefully things will resume in the not too distant future and we can crack on and get back to our, what will be the new normal. All right, that's it for me, guys. Please, as I say, hit, uh, hit the uh, comments and uh, share away. All right, that's it for me. As always, thank you. Please remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Uh, as I've said before, I will create a directory of bars and the girls in the bars here on our Discord channel in the very near future. So please, if you haven't already, jump onto our Discord, have a look on there. And if you are interested, check out our members area. We've got more and more members joining now each and every week, which is fantastic. Starts off at like it's 89 pence a month to support the, uh, the channel. And in return, you get access to our members' photos uh, that'll be in the uh, Discord group as well as uh, I'll send you back a buzzing ID card, which you'll get a free buzzing shot with your first beer in many, many of the bars here once we all reopen. All right, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. And please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.